Hello, beautiful goddesses. It's Deanna Durrell, intuitive relationship coach and spiritual mentor, and welcome to the February forecast. February is an amazing month, and as we came out of the cloud of January that may have felt a little bit wonky, I know a lot of you shared with me, like, how come I feel so emotional, or I feel like things are still wrapping up? In many ways, February is the new January. It is the start of 2019. And so here's what you can expect for this February forecast. I have pulled four goddess cards. I'm going to be interpreting each of them for you for each of the months of February. And as I hold them up, you guys know if you're in my community, I like you to also tune into your own divine wisdom. So get a sheet of paper and it's something to write with. And as I'm pulling up these cards, I want you to ask yourself this question. What is coming up for me when I see this card? And just write down the first thing that comes to mind. That is your message. And uh, we're also going to talk about the theme of February. So let's start with that. The theme of February is open your heart. I heard that loud and clear when I was meditating for all of you. And it is about really shifting out of this paradigm of making decisions from your head and instead going into your heart space and really, really tapping into love and seeing what is it that, how can I approach the situation with love? How can I expect and look for love and how can I be love? And in many ways, February is the month of partnership. So you're going to get a lot farther connecting with community and connecting with somebody else than trying to do it all alone. Again, logically, we know this, but this month suggests that and because it is the second month of the year. There's that two energy present, which is about mediation. It's about gentleness, compassion, and of course, harmony and balance. So many of you, and we'll, you'll see as we get into the cards, have been going through kind of an emotional metamorphosis, really coming into the truth of who you are and the people in your lives and who you want in your life, who you don't, where you've been tolerating things that you're done tolerating so that you can create space for the new to enter. We have the new moon at the top of the month, February 4th, and new moons, there's the, the most potent at the start of the new moon for about five days after that. So February 4th to, um, I can't do math right now, you guys. <laughs> February 9th is going to be your best window to set intentions, to set into motion what it is that you want to stake into the ground for the next 30 days. This is one of the things that... Um, I do with my goddesses in the Empowered Goddess Society. We do this every single month. We gather as a group and really get clear on your intentions and releasing from the last cycle. So if that's something you're interested in, um, check out the link below this video. But let's go into the first week. So along with the new moon, I pulled Goddess Mauve. And Mauve is about cycles and rhythms. So again, I'm going to pause and you can pause this video if you want to ask yourself the question, what is this? What is, what is the insight for me? But what I see here is um, really not identifying with any stuck emotions that may come up. Just let them come up. So often we try to identify with our emotions and it's just giving us information about where we haven't been loving ourselves or where we need to express something that we haven't expressed. And you may just need to cry or you may need to like yell or journal about it or tell somebody how you feel. And, and what, what goes down must come up. So if you are feeling like you're in a slump, know that you're going to come out of it. This is the week to really just be gentle with yourself and your body is going to be giving you signals as to what to do. The second week in February, Vesta, goddess of the hearth and home. I love this goddess. She is going to put attention on the spotlight of who feels like home in your heart, right? It's such a great month for love in general, but really, you know, starting from your exterior. So looking around your physical home, are there anything, is there anything in your home that doesn't feel like you anymore? Have you outgrown certain objects? Is it time to get new bed sheets to symbolize that new relationship? If you're into feng shui, I'm going to have to do another video about feng shui, but um, check out the blog post on things that you can do to bring 
love into your bedroom. I'll put the link to that post below as well. So yes, ask yourself, what can I do to spruce up my home so that my outer environment matches the inner vision that I'm creating? And then the third week, Ein leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So the third week in February, this is the time to go for it. Tell someone how you feel. Uh, go on the job interview. If you're in business for yourself, make the big offer. Uh, set up VIP meetings with higher ups if you're you know, at a regular job. This is the time to um, really recommit. So while the first half of the month is about getting clear about what needs to sift in and out of your life, the second half of the month is about implementation. And you're not going to know until you do it. So, so often, again, we try to figure things out in our head of how a certain situation is going to go. But if it has your heart and you just go for it and just go all in, then you're going to get the information that you need. And then as we round out the month, I love this beautiful gentleness with white Tara, sensitivity. So you may be more sensitive to certain chemicals, certain people, certain sounds, honoring that. And also just look at all the joy and the lightness in this picture. It's about lightening your load and celebrating your sensitivity. So, you know, by the end of the month, the people that are still in your life are probably going to be in your life for a long time. Um, and the patterns that you've set up, right? This is your time to really do some kind of a ritual and honor and honor yourself. Okay, so in terms of dates, we I gave you the, the new moon on February 4th. And then February 14th on Valentine's Day, on the big V-Day, Mars is in Taurus. And what the heck does that mean? From uh, February 14th, I believe, through the middle of March. And uh, this is a great time to make headway on your career um, long-term visions for relationships, anything that has lasting power, uh, you want to pour energy into it starting on the 14th. And just know that by mid-March, it'll be clear whether that thing is to stay in your life or not. But again, you've got to put effort in. So that is a beautiful, beautiful month for all of us to come back to our heart, to learn how to receive by tuning into what's important to you, and to remember that you are love. Everything around you can be love. All right, if you would like more, check out the free challenge. I'm hosting a free self-love challenge starting February 5th, and it goes until Valentine's Day, because the hardest thing, right, can be to love ourselves. And how do you actually do that? I'm going to give you a bite-sized nugget that you can do every single day. And even if you're watching this later, sign up anyway, and you'll get access to all of them. All right. Have a wonderful February and let me know in the comments what resonated for you. What are your own insights that you got from the cards? And thank you so much for being here. If you'd like more, check out dianadurell.com for a free gift. And I hope to see you in a video soon.